Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the final match from the round of 32 Group D from BSL Season 13 Hasu League. We have uh, Lesbiano, aka Arthur Flex, starting at the 9 o'clock location as the Red Terran. Actually, let's do the color swap back as the Yellow Terran. Actually, this is... Yeah, we'll stick with this. Yellow and black. Those are fun colors. Uh, the colors of bees. Upper uh, bottom right corner, we have Exit starting as the Black Terran. Gotta save the bees, guys. Poor thing, poor creatures out there. They do so much for us, and we just keep poisoning them with uh, with random chemicals over and over again. It never seems to end. Anyway, wow, 1200 APM from exit. Bees! That's actually my favorite. Uh, if you guys have ever played Cards Against Humanities, that's like the instant win card, I think, uh, for me and the people I usually play with is the bees! It's like regardless of what... The uh, front card is. Anyway, exit. Starting for a front door seal uh, with that supply depot. <clears throat> exit. I, we'll see if he's a little bit more comfortable in this match. It, I felt like his uh, versus Zerg play was struggling a little bit. Obvi uh, obvi at least in game one. It looks like in the previous match, pulled it out pretty well. Sending out an SCV scout now. Supply depot is going to be alongside Arthur Flex interior base. Which I'm not sure I like this play as much, again, because of Aztec and that inverted ramp. And considering also the standard Terran meta these days, which is to go more vulture heavy play. And I feel like having the supply depot and having more opportunities to block out your natural expansion. Um, oh, I take it back. Never mind. This isn't even going to be a thing because we are seeing a forward barracks. I'm not sure this is a. I don't think this is an all in barracks potentially, though. This might just be a barracks to get a little bit more aggression early to get them in a, a position where they can do damage. It looks like exit, and we'll see if he plops down a second one. It might just be a single barracks with Marines going forward, getting aggressive because of the inverted ramp option. It looks like he's already harassing that SCV, building the barracks on the opposite side, so might use that opportunity. This has been scouted, however. Was it scouted? Never mind. Okay, yeah, now it's scouted. Flipping back around to go ahead and get eyes on it. This might be a degree of disruption on Arthur Flex uh, build. SCV doesn't get the kill. It's going to go ahead and back out. First Marines being produced. But again, this isn't insurmountable from Exit. Exit can go ahead and take this Marine, bring it back home. Or he can turn around and be aggressive with it with that SCV. He does have everything in the background to go ahead and build a factory. <clears throat> and instead, he brought the, S the scouting SCV back. What a trickster. Brought the scouting SCV back. To build a factory to the north. So initial marine's been produced. SCV's now blocking the ramp to go ahead and deny information to Arthur Fleck. And he has no idea what's going on now. There's the factory uh, to that position. But again, this is an artifact of Aztec where I feel because Arthur Fleck is not grabbing the high ground here. Looks like that SCV has managed to get through. Sees the bunker. And this is cute. Exit building a factory in his... In his main, so acting like he maybe got caught or maybe he's off build order. I don't know that Arthur Flex is going to fall for this, but he might be like, okay, what's going on here with all of this? He still might actually push out with this initial vulture and go... So here's the, the factory in this back corner. We'll see what happens. Arthur Fleck is going to be dealing with a lot of... Uh, he's got a lot of information coming out of him, a lot of it conflicting. The barracks now floating to go ahead and provide scouting and... Oh, no! He's going for his natural expansion, saved up resources, only a single marine to defend right there. I think he just assumed there was going to be another grab, an armory also being built in the corner. So the barracks, yeah, is going to see exactly what it wants to see. A machine shop being built, but already this is two factories. I'm looking for the third factory to potentially be produced. It looks like actually it's just going to be two factories and Goliath to follow to potentially deal. Uh, but I think this, this is going to be really difficult for Arthur Fleck to, to repel. Bunker has that single marine in it, just in case there is a counterattack um, from this vulture. This vulture, yeah, going to get backed off. This vulture might be able to pl plug the gap. Well, maybe can plug the gap. Trying to micro. This is actually... Oh, does block the ramp as well. So continuing to deny scouting information. Two vultures here to the north. The armory is, in fact, finished. Are we going to see a goliath as well? So two, yeah, two vultures and a goliath to engage. Speed being upgraded and vultures being produced. Oh, this is disastrous now. This is disastrous for Arthur Fleck. And it looks like all of the information denial and the cheese and everything else, that might be the killing blow. This vulture wandering out. Now, several vultures and an SEV pressing forward. 
Maybe he can cancel this command center and make something of it. But the Vulture's just marching right into the main. There's just not enough bulk to defend against this. SCV's pulling off the line, plus the SCV to repair from exit. is going to be group repair on the counter Vulture. I like this play from Arthur Fleck to try to make something out of it. These Vultures are going to back off and just go ahead and let that group repair happen. But in the meantime, this base is in fact breached. Goliaths are going to hang out that natural expansion, try to do damage here. Exit needs to actually regroup with them, picking off some SCVs, and actually a nice defense from Arthur Fleck. But now it's going to be a single repairing SCV dealing with this Vulture on the ground. It looks like, however, with the... Th what a great defense from Arthur Fleck! Goliath at the natural expansion, but using SCVs to group repair, staying alive. He has his own Goliath out. Now he's up a natural expansion, and this... I don't want to call it cheese. Pseudo-cheese has failed. Exit dropping his barracks to create a barrier for reinforcements. Still working on the vultures here. Has a superior number of Goliaths. Needs to, yeah, preserve that Goliath. March it back. But you can see where it's, yeah, just creating a little bit of a funnel. This SCV going back to try to, again, group. But more reinforcements coming in. More Goliaths marching down. And it's still on. Is Exit going to be able to hold this? Another Goliath that looks like additional Goliaths being produced. There's still four Goliaths on the ground. SCV's pulling off the line for Arthur. And it looks like this might be critical mass. There's GG. A great attempt at a defense from Arthur Fleck. For a moment, I thought he may be able to pull it out. But instead, Exit still pouring on the pressure. Able to, and I think this was a really cute maneuver. Dropping that barracks to create a degree of a, a barrier so the units can't just push through. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Exit advances to the round of 16. Well, you enjoy, Keen. Uh, I believe the round of 16 is being played this weekend for people on Twitch. Uh, for people on YouTube, this is coming out much later. If you do want to see the games live as they're happening, you can go ahead and check uh, everything out on Twitch TV. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yep. Uh, thanks for listening.